You know, I don't think much disrupts you anymore. And I do think that you even have probably someone specific trying to like get a rise out of you in some way. Um, it feels like a battle of ego, which is not worth your time and stupid. So you cut that out quickly, which may have been even more aggravating to whatever it is you're dealing with in that. I mean, you're not really dealing with it anymore. I feel like you're moving past it pretty quickly. Um, on your mind, you only are really interested in higher things. Um, as far as consciousness, relationships, commitments, um, people, places and things that solidly contribute to your life and so anyone who is trying to like make you feel less than or like confuse you in some way, you're not fucking having it. Um, and you rise because of this. You're also being crossed with probably yet another situation. Again, I think there's a few situations here that are that and there's other sincere and good things happening um, in a lot of areas. Ahead of you is a star. So you know, there's a lot of healing and um, vibrational growth, just good energy. And if you're in, um, you know, the public eye in some way, that could go very well for you as well. Um, your, your perspective is the tower, like, and the way I'm seeing this is like, you're not afraid of shit crashing. You're not afraid of letting things, people, places go. You know what is for you and what's coming and you know who the fuck you are. And I think that a lot of trial and error and injustice has brought you to that point. Even when people are lying to you, you can tell, at least for the most part. Um, and you're holding strong, accepting death and leaping into the unknown to claim what it is you seek and no longer wasting time on something or someone like people that you want to see the best in, but what they're showing you is clearly not what you're looking for. And I think you accept that a lot faster and you're like, nah, not doing this whole rat race again. Um, and you don't. So I'm going to continue.